live in our kitchen. My girl Siba is joining me. I never thought we'd ever be on camera at the same time. Siba, welcome to the show. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> now, over the weekend, the Good Food and Wine show is happening in Gauteng. There's a few people who's joining Siba while they are cooking away. I'm talking about Buddy, the Lastro, Matt Preston, uh, Reza Mohammed will be there. Also, our own Zola A will be cooking there Woo with, uh, with Ewan and with Katlego. What are you making this morning? I'm making a seafood laksa. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple um, everyday dish okay. that one can make. Is it Thai inspired? It's very, it's, it's Asian inspired. Mm -hmm. This one is specifically from Singapore. Right. Uh, but you use a lot of Thai ingredients. For instance, I've got the Thai red curry paste and I have some coconut, which they use very much in their cooking. So, Missy, you're going to help me with oh, the yeah, cooking. I'm going to be stirring. <laughs> I saw this happening. Okay, so what am I putting so where? It's garlic in the oil. Okay, garlic with in With some my ginger. Oil. You can never go Thai or anything Asian without garlic and without ginger. garlic and ginger. So my garlic and ginger goes in there. I think my pan is nice and hot. Yes, and we have some cane pepper. Oh, cane pepper. I remember the last time I used this. I started sneezing in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so people mustn't be surprised. Yeah. All right. Okay. And I have a Thai red curry paste, and I usually make my own, but if you have one that's bought... You make your own? Oh, yeah. It's so okay. simple. If you have a blender as a friend, that's all you need. So I'm just going to add a little bit more oil. Okay, I see sneezes up in here. It's going to start, because we've got some chili in here. There's but a trick to it. You What's can the just trick? Hold it up. In that way, the, it doesn't burn as much. <gasps> yeah. What are you teaching me? <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold this up a little bit. Okay, what happens next? All right. Now next, we're now making a broth. Okay. Next up is some coconut cream. You can also use coconut milk if you are health conscious. Okay. We're not health conscious today. I love cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And it have it has to be it has to be fish stock. Okay. But you can substitute it with okay, I'm gonna put chicken this down, stock. Is it heavy? Starting to get oh. heavy. Okay. So some fish stock. Okay. Some fish stock. This smells good already. I see what you mean by the flavors of Singapore. It's all in this pot because it's starting to infuse and it's smelling great. See, we're in our kitchen. You've just joined us. It sounds like we have a foodie in the house. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. All right. How do so, we make the rest? All right. The rest, we have some soy, some oyster sauce. Okay. So oyster sauce Or you can use fish sauce. There. It goes Am in there. Am I stirring there. right? You are stirring perfectly. Okay. Thank you. I think I have some competition. <laughs> I only know how to stir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the last bit would be the sesame oil because it's what brings all the flavors together. Ah. It's what finishes it all. I'm told that it's quite potent. Yes, it is. So you must also use it in very small drops. Okay. Yeah, not, not a large not amount. Not a lot. Okay. All right, so we have some olive oil this side in and I pan. have beautiful salmon. I am crazy over salmon. I know you like zucchinis as well. Yes. And the little, she makes little marks on zucchinis. When you watch <laughs> the cooking, she knows, she takes everything out of the oven slowly and puts it back slowly. Okay, so slowly she puts the salmon into the pan. Yes. <laughs> this fish is alive, it's beautiful. Okay, it's so, so pretty, look at it. Uh, and then we have some salt and pepper. Okay. And we have some freshly ground pepper. And I see you hardly let it touch the oil, eh? Well, it can. It's not a problem. The nice thing, this is a non-stick pan. Mm. So with or without the oil, it will still cook. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, and I like it with the, the skin side down first, and then I turn it up. But you must remember, with fish, especially salmon, you don't want to overcook this. So three minutes maximum Right, it's going it. to be done. It's okay. going to be done. Yep. So let's cook this. Look at that. We're cooking with Siba in our kitchen. As I mentioned earlier, she's going to be at the Good Food and Wine Show over the weekend. Zola's going to be there with you and Katlejo as well. Just giving us a taste of what we can look forward to as she's talking through this recipe. Now, I'm making the sauce on the one side. It's already smelling good. I'm going to give this one a stir as well because this one's ready and it's yes. alive. Okay, so three minutes later, our salmon's ready. It's ready. It must look exactly something like this. Okay, so these are So it are must salmon. be very pink inside still. Uh -huh. It mustn't be overcooked. Okay. And then the next thing that you do would be now to add some calamari right. and its tentacles. And I and, kid you uh, not. I see what you're doing. You're putting the calamari in after the salmon. Last, because it cooks quickly. Very quickly. <laughs> it's like... Seriously. Just like that. Okay. So in goes the calamari. This will cook in a minute or so. And once and it ready. is cooked, okay. this is what we're it will look for. like that. Now our keyword for this morning is pasta. How would we get to the actual pasta area or the pasta side of it? The pasta side of it is we have some noodles, mm -hmm. which is eaten very much in the east. Mm -hmm. And what we will then do, so I'm just going to add a little bit of oil, oil to, oil to make this. It. 
Our keyword is curry for this morning, I've just heard. So our keyword is curry it's for curry. this morning. Look how you handle that pasta, eh? Look at you. So you can touch your food, huh? And yes, you can. Here. We say your hands are a best, a chef's best friend. Ah, your hands are But they must be clean. Ah. They must be clean, otherwise who's going to eat it? Yeah, that's not good if it's not clean. Okay, yep. so I saw you putting your, your pasta in there, and then what goes in next? All right, so we're going to cut this into shades. Ah, I see that right, you I are did styling. Up. Styling is one of the things I used to do when I was in the magazine world. Right, so you So we, we eat with our this. eyes, ah. which is very important. So We eat with, with our, our eyes. eyes. Well, while Siba is getting her eyes and her styling on, we're going to take a look at how we got to this point because I can't wait to see what the end result will look like. Cook cayenne in oil for one minute, then stir in curry paste. Add stock and coconut milk, then bring to the boil. Add fish sauce, oyster sauce, and sesame oil, then set aside. Saute the garlic and ginger. Season your salmon, then add to the pan and brown on all sides. Cook calamari in the same pan. Place noodles into bowls, top with the salmon, then ladle over the broth. Top with calamari and garnish with coriander. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keyword curry to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Just click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMS cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs and T's and C's do apply. It's our keyword for this morning, curry to 33728. Okay, can I put some of my curry yes. mixture over it? So we just ladle it. Ladle with it. With a broth. How much can I put on? Plenty. Because it smells delicious. <laughs> it is. It's what makes it. It's what makes it. Siba's <laughs> in our kitchen this morning. We're <laughs> cooking a delicious curry. Uh, I, I would call it a pasta, but everyone calls it a curry. It's got seafood <laughs> in it. Okay, and what do you finish it off with? All right, now we finish it off. With some with coriander. Some coriander. Just it looks so yeah. tasty. It is so simple. So we just gave you that link as well. Carry to 33728. It's charged at 1 rand 50. Uh, you can make it at home and have Siba in your kitchen. Literally. Voila! Thank you. It's we a can't wait to see you over the weekend. Thank you. Are you going to be cooking away? <laughs> I will be cooking away. Can I tell them that you're cooking for three? <laughs> She's naughty. She's been yes, I am. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. From excitement in our kitchen to everyone else on the other side. Cat, what's happening? <laughs>